Hi, hi, everyone. Welcome back to my break time. Today, very, very exciting. I got a new Lego Disney Fall Tree 240 Maleficent Dragon Farm set to build and reveal. Look at that. So, when I know that this set is going to launch by the Lego, I mean, I am over the moon because look at the dragon. I mean, Wow, it looks fantastic, to be honest. I really like it. I mean, um, apart from the usual castle, uh, not too um, fancy, but the dragon is definitely the highlight for this set. So let's see what's in the box. Uh, there are six bags in total, if not mistaken. Yeah, six bags. So... This is quite a huge set. It comes with um, 500 plus pieces of bricks. And look at this, um, the dragon wings. Love it. So I can't wait to unbox t uh, this set. Um, yeah. And let me know if you like this set, uh, if you own it. And do you wish to get this? And why? And there are two booklets. Yeah, two booklets in this set. And one small, just small sticker sheet. Yeah, this is for the dragon. So, um, I think this set is fairly, fairly uh, worth it to get it. I mean, um, it's so nice. Uh, I can tell from this uh, booklet already. And look at here. This is also the first book. It's all about the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Yep, Sleeping Beauty Castle. And the second booklet is all about the dragon and Prince Philip and the horse. Yeah, so um, the castle doesn't look too complicated to build on. But I'm not so sure about the dragon, but we will find out later. So in this video, um, we'll mainly focus on the first part of the build, which is the castle. Yeah, this booklet. So... Stay tuned for the second part later on. So the first character, let's start with the character. The first character is none other than Princess Aurora, aka the Sleeping Beauty. So I got uh, another set, another Aurora from the other set. We will see the comparison uh, in just a moment. So this Aurora has new hairstyle, new hair color, uh, new new eyes, yeah, uh, looks more mature than the previous um, Princess Aurora. Look at that. Look at the comparison. Tell me in the comment box, um, which version do you like more? Look at that. Um, it doesn't look too much difference, but uh, um, the new Aurora has more metallic um, mate um, texture on the dress. Yeah, uh, and the hair color is more yellowish. I mean, more, much more yellowish as compared to the previous version. Yep. So this Princess Aurora comes with um pants as well, uh, which um more, which is more convenient for her to fight off the dragon later on. So um, princess can be a warrior sometimes, right? <laughs> Princess can be warrior too, yeah, with the sword. Over here, look at that. Looking so, so nice. I love it. I, I really love the whole look. So, yeah, princess can fight off the dragon too. So, it's a very, very nice um uh, accessory to come with. And this here, this character over here is Prince Philip. Look at that. So, so cute. I mean, he, he's looking cute with the hairstyles, short hairstyle, with some fringe for, for on his uh, face, forehead. And this is the shield. Very nice. The color, very, very nice. And don't forget about the sword for Prince Philip too. Look at that. So he has quite basic uh, attire, I would say which more convenient for him to fight off the dragon later on. Yeah, and look at the hair. It's so, so cute. Looks like a coconut shelf. If you, if you see one before. 
very, very cute. So, and here comes the horse. Yeah, Prince Philip's horse. And it's in gray color. So, let's put it on the saddle. Oopsie, I, I think I got it wrong over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, this saddle is quite um, interesting because uh, Prince Philip can can only manage to stand on it but not, but not sit on it. Look at that. Uh, I'm not so sure about this design. I mean, um, even though he has to fight off the dragon, but I don't think it's a good idea to stand on it. Yeah. <laughs> and next, we move on to the Sleeping Beauty Castle. So I hope you guys will enjoy the build together with me. And so far, I would say that I quite enjoy the whole building process. I mean, the Sleeping Beauty Castle is not too complicated to build and the colors are just awesome. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the whole build with me.
that's all for the build for the castle. Look at that. So uh, I'm not too sure what's the function of this tower. Let's see whether we can fit Princess Aura in it. No, no, no. Uh, it can it can barely fit. Yeah. So I'm not too sure what's the other function for the tower for. And let's look at the armor helmet. Oh, looks so nice on Princess Aurora. I mean, look at that. Very, very nice. So, uh, the overall build, I would say that um, it's quite pleasing. I mean, uh, it's very, very nice. Look at the bait. So, yeah. Um, very, very nice. So, this is where Princess Aurora touched the spindle and fall asleep. Yes. So, uh, the, the details though um, are not too fancy, but you can't complain much. I mean, I can't complain much. Uh, it looks um, it got uh, whatever it 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 uh, it has. I mean, the details, uh, including the fairy godmother. The size is not too big. I mean, um, overall, it's quite nice. And it can play together with the other set that uh, I have already reviewed on. Uh, you can check it out in the link in the description down below. So this is the previous set that LEGO comes out with, with the Maleficent figure. This is the cottage. So you can um, actually mix together and play uh, with it. And the Maleficent figure here. So. I love it, I love it. So stay tuned for the part 2 uh, for the dragon build up. So I will see you in the next one. Bye!